no one sells a Singapore thing in Malaysia. Because everything in Singapore is from Malaysia. Uh, you know, everything <laughs> is from Malaysia. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. And for the first time, we are not in Singapore. We are finally overseas. Thanks to our generous sponsor, we are now in... Malaysia! Okay, la, it was still a six hour drive from Singapore all the way to KL because the custom borders was a bit jammed. New black, new black. We'll be finding food in Petaling Jaya according to our Malaysian crew, a producer, editor. These are your recommended spots, uh, if not nice. We're going to go find our first spot in PJ. But before that, a quick word from today's sponsor. Food finding can be quite costly. Any additional money for more food is always welcome. I was introduced to the OctaFX copy trading app as a potential way to get additional income from Forex trading. The OctaFX copy trading app allows you to copy the trades of more experienced investors called master baiters. I mean master traders. To do so, you need to download the app on Google Play or you can use the web version. Make a deposit, go to the copier area, find the traders that you want to follow, then click copy. Their position will be copied automatically. Make sure to check each candidate's trading history, performance and risk evaluation. This will help you find the best master trader to follow. Successful forex trading is all about wise financial decisions. It's impossible to get rich overnight. To become a successful trader, you need to constantly learn and improve yourself. Any app that promises you quick riches is a scam. With an experienced trader by your side, you can get a balanced and diversified trading portfolio and even develop your own trading strategy. Just take some time to master the basics and analyze your master trader's move. OctaFX has local payment systems to make deposits and withdrawals more convenient. They also have a support team ready to answer all questions 24-7. Download the app using my link in the description and begin copying. Now let's get back to food finding. So our first spot is at this auto shop. This is in SS2. We're going to try this toast and roast. I assume they sell char siu. Let's go. I'm going to get a char siu, then add siu yolk kata noodle. You want to drink anything? You know what is this? Sweet cha. What sweet cha? Is it sweet? Uh, can I get the hakka noodle with cha siu? Can I add siu yolk? I think at least once a shh tea. I think this episode there will be a lot of Cantonese practicing. I have So the hakka noodles have arrived, cha siu and the siu yolk. The meat cut actually looks quite thick. La. It's like wow. Fight. So like you can actually see like the pork fat, one layer of it on top. So I think that's a good sign. Looks a bit like um, thinner mee pork. So they, they also have a version with minced uh, meat, but I think the signature here is the char siu and the siu yolk. So we're gonna try that. So I made a mistake. I should have asked for like the fattier cut. I think they can do that as well. Let's give it a go. Mm. Actually, it still melts in your mouth, yeah. I think they did give me like a fattier cut also. So it's not so jalala, right? If it's not sweet, like it will just be like fat. But this helps to elevate the fat a little bit. Okay, next up we have the siu yolk. The skin is still very crispy. So you have the first layer that is skin, and then you get the fat, and then you get like the meat. So I like that the meat part is also quite soft. Uh, so the whole piece is quite shun. So I'm gonna try the noodle as well. You can taste a bit of the ghee though, it's the alkali. That actually helps it to have certain springiness. Taste-wise, I would prefer if it doesn't have that alkali. But that is pretty, still pretty good. And they flavoured it quite well. Definitely some kind of pork lard added inside to toss with the noodles. The bowl actually looks quite small, but I don't know, it, ma it makes the thing look very full. Okay, but the is really on point. Very good. Now, what, what cheese is this? It's just green chili. No? The cheese is like more sour, I assume. It works with the noodles, it's not bad. Because the meats are all very fat, right? The sourness actually helps to overcome a bit of the fattiness. So it's not so monotonous. Uh, but overall, it's very good. I think I, I got quite lucky. Like, they gave me like, a fattier cut. And the siu yolk also is pretty good. A burst of saltiness from like the skin and all. In the noodle, it also comes with this little brown pieces, which I thought was either garlic or pork lard. But after tasting it, it didn't really have that texture. It felt a bit like tofu skin. But anyway, these small pieces are actually uh, fish flakes. I think it's a bit like fish cake, fish paste, that kind of thing. They, they chopped it into small pieces and they deep fried it. So this adds a bit more texture and different elements to the dish itself. I think the, the size of the cuts are really thick. Gives you a lot of mouth bite, right? So you don't want to bite into like very thin meat. Your teeth cannot like bite down all the way. So I really like that they use a very thick cut of meat for the noodles. So that really adds to the enjoyment here. I will give it a 4.5 actually. 4.5 sa. I think this is quite good. I really like the meats. That's it for toast and roast. Drive us away at least.
Beep, beep. As our viewers realize I'm not the one driving, Malaysia roads are a bit scary. A lot of lanes are very narrow. Both sides of the road also got car park one. In Malaysia, you don't find a parking lot. You create your own lot. <laughs> I agree. So we found it. Restaurant Chun Pron Mi. Chun Xia Mian. So let's go. Oh wait, that's a car. We cannot go. If we go now, we will die. No shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, see that this prawn meat, 3590, king of the king. Wang Zhong Zhi Wang comes with big prawn, squid, abalone, pork rib, pork tail, pork intestine, pork skin. Wow, like the whole pork inside. Okay, I don't think we need the abalone. Uh. I think we can just try the prawn mee king. Alright, so this is a Penang style prawn mee soup. I think quite similar to Singapore, we have a uh, soup prawn mee also. But ours is not usually red. Yeah, actually, why is it red? Uh? 我想問一下,我問你的蝦麵湯怎麼做成是紅色的?你看哦,我們也放在這裡。在新加坡是比較黑的。我們用那個甲殼很多。這個蝦殼啦,也是辣椒油啦。來來來,比較喜歡吃
It's very comforting. Ma. It's not very matched up like a full-on Hong Kong style Cantonese zhou la, where it's like very smooth. Uh, this one still has a bit of texture to it. Like the rice is still, it's not firm, but it's not like all mashed up also. The porridge itself has quite a bit of sesame oil and uh, aromatics and whatever inside. So it is still quite flavorful. It's very comforting. This fish base is actually not bad. Feels quite generous with the fish la. It's not like all flour. I like it. Yeah, it's very siang. The ikan bilis is quite interesting also la. Cause when you bite into the ikan bilis, the porridge is a bit more plain, but the ikan bilis is salty. So it's then salty and then like goes with the more neutral porridge. And it adds like the crunchiness also with the peanut. Peanut is quite common la for century egg in porridge. So quite interesting. I think this feels like a innovative style of porridge. There are some elements that are quite familiar. A bit of fusion fusion style la. You know, normally this this like you see in nasi lemak, but it's in the porridge. Same same but. And instead of yu pian, right, like flat sliced fish, they have tried the um, fried fish base. It is quite a comforting bowl of porridge, but it, yeah, it doesn't taste like the usual Cantonese style porridge. It also doesn't really taste like the Singapore Tongji. So I'll probably give Penny's food cut a 3.5 star. Something mm, lap seng. <laughs> So that's it for Kenny's food cart. We're gonna move off to our next spot in PJ. Transition! Whoa! Your clap is too powerful! <laughs> What's my V? This is a very small one. The my V is like before one start. Is this a my V? My V, my V. Yeah, my V. We are playing spot the my V. Eh, hey, there's also my V, right? There are my V, right? Yeah, my V, right? Yeah, hey, my V. Is that my V? My V. Is that my V? My V. New my V. Hey, my V. Is that my V? Yeah. <laughs> we have Rich and we have Park behind her. My V! Famous Ilham Nasi Gugus is to the right. To the right. Let's go, Siat Let's go. Okay, so we ordered the Nasi Gugus. It works a bit like Sing Si Fan. So you pick your own ingredient. I got the drumstick, la, so you can see my. My drumstick is uh, sticking out. Uh, you can see they drown my rice with a lot of gravy and curry. I'm actually not super sure why it did. I'm gonna put the samba to one side first. I wanna kill myself. Yo, why more? So, I mean, I've just been trying to look around what people add. La. So, I think the standard is really this uh, jackfruit and then fried chicken. No? You can pick like what part you want. La. I got the drumstick. Okay, we're gonna try some of the rice first. I think there was like a mix of different gravies that you put inside. It helps that there's some gravy to it. It's not it's like very very dry, right? Uh, the fried chicken is quite tender. And the seasoning is pretty really well done. There's a lot of things going on, uh, right? With the jackfruit. So it's a bit sweet. So this helps to like cut through a bit of all the, the spice that's happening. Wow, oh, there's a lot of spice exploding in my mouth. What mouth? I think this is a very like, comforting, simple meal. So it's probably around like seven, seven, eight ringgit, I think. It also depends on like what you add inside, la. but I think seven, eight ringgit is like quite affordable. La. But the sambal is quite good, it's like quite flavorful, it's a bit spicy. I like the fact that it's actually gravy, la. I think that's very important for me. And I like to like drown my rice in gravy. My dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> drown my rice in gravy. So I try to eat the, the gravy and the rice just by itself la, without like wow, all the chili. Because the chili is like really just boom, super spicy. I think they do the rempa really well. It's quite fragrant, la. you can taste like a very fragrant coconut flavor to it. Small regret at samba to the whole rice. Uh. If only they can like, separate out the samba. Because now it's like, wow, samba is just everywhere. When you're in the kitchen, is there anything special? The market was really Makan, makan. Wrap, go. Efficient, uh, very efficient. The service price is really affordable also. I would give this a bigger dot lima bintang. Yeah, it's not like, wow, the rice is super amazing or what, but I think it's quite affordable. It's a good staple, comforting food. So that's it for El Hub Nasi Kukus. We are going to finally go to our last stop. Hey, just me. This camera not turn. What do you want? Wow, the sambal here, no joke. In Malaysia, definitely way more spicier. Those Malaysians are stronger. So like when Singapore we sell Malaysian food, right? We'll credit the Malaysian one. Plank Pakote, KL Pan Mi. Uh, see we got we got credit the Malaysian one. So is there any like Singapore dish in Malaysia? No one sells a Singapore thing in Malaysia. Because everything in Singapore is from Malaysia. Uh, you know, everything is from Malaysia. <laughs> Let's say the Teochew star Pakote. Is it sold in Malaysia at all? I don't no. think so. Because our it. Pakote is good enough. Why? Okay, carrot cake. Okay, let's say carrot cake. This one, Malaysia don't have one. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, carrot cake also? Got, got, got. Uh, our white prawn Hokkien Mee. Oh, this one we don't have at all. Why you don't bother to sell? They don't want to sell. <laughs> of course, there must be a reason. Right? In Malaysia, don't want to sell Singapore street food. But Singapore is very pro 
my regular street food. Why? Because it's nice. So we are at uh, SS17 here in PJ. Found this Kongwa ice kacang. So we're gonna try. Luckily, the last dish for today's episode is ice kacang because my stomach's gonna explode already. So let's go, ice kacang dessert. Huanghua Ping Shi, established since 1958. Here they serve ice kacang and uh, chendol. So in some places in Malaysia, this is known as ABC. Air Batu Champo. Thank you. So we ordered the uh, ABC and the chendol. In Singapore, it's quite different, right? There's like different color syrup. I see both also got the chendol jelly, but this one has the kacang, which is the red bean. I think both got evaporated milk, both ice, and there is the gula malaka syrup also. So when you dig, dig to the bottom, so you have uh, corn, chin chow, I think there's red bean also. Yeah, this is like a gula malaka ice kacang. Okay, we're gonna try the chendo. I think the difference is probably the ingredients. So the chendo has more chendo jelly. Might not be evaporated milk, man. I think it's actually coconut cream. But there's nothing else below. La. So all the ingredients are on top. Already. So it's just ice kacang, chendol, uh, with the gula melaka, syrup, and the uh, coconut cream. The chendol is damn soft though. I think the chendol is like one of the best chendol I've tried. It like melts in your mouth. And quite possibly the last. But both are very similar, honestly. The ABC is slightly more expensive. I think it's like one ringgit more. If you want more kacang, more red bean, then you go for the chendol. If not, there's a bit of red bean, I think, in the ABC as well. Flavor-wise, it's like, it's gula melaka, it's coconut cream, very similar. Or peanut though. So there's actually peanuts in the ABC as well. Uh, so peanut, red bean, and uh, a lot of jelly and corn. So I would give this a 4.5 star for Kongwa ice kacang. Minus 0.5 because the, the chendo and the ice kacang taste very very similar. Like the ingredients is gula malaka, coconut cream. There's not much difference in variety. Just that the ingredients are different. I would like if their ice kacang is actually more differentiated from the chendo. I think they've been open for more than 50, 60 years already. It seems they have a branch opening as well but you know do check this out at uh, PJ when you are in this area. 4.5 I think this is quite good. I really like it. So that's it for Kuang Wa. We're gonna head back to the car to just wrap up everything for our our episode in PJ. So let's go! So we have come to the end of PJ episode. My V Finders. My V Finders. We have Alice, the editor who's been editing all the videos so far. What is the favorites of the day? Toast and rose and ice kacang. Oh, Leng Men, Leng Men. like it, but you didn't finish? finish. Uh, I feel like I will come back again. Okay, Dean actually like the nasi chukus. I also like the toast and rose. I like the toast and rose. Kung wa ice kacang. Oh. The, the ice melts them fast too. In minutes, it's just a puddle of water. No, why? Because we are too hot. Because we are too hot. I think I like the chun prawn mee, the soup also. Yeah, I like chun prawn mee. Do you like chun prawn mee? Take out all the ingredients. It was like, yeah, it was like okay for me only. Eh. The, the liao, the ingredients is like very authentic. Okay. Authentic, but how it's not is another thing. I like the soup. It's just I have uh, issue with the ingredients used. Yeah, I think that's very overpriced. Yeah, it's 25 ringgit at that bowl. Will you be willing to pay for that also? It is now read comments time. So there's a type of intestine called fen chang. It's natural to have the powdery texture inside. Yes, uh, intestine got a few types. Like got small intestine, big intestine, got fen chang also. So the fen chang is the one that has the a very obvious like powdery thing. Like it's literally called powder intestine. That's like normal. The da chang or xiao chang, like if it's not super clean, sometimes you will still get like a little bit it's not like wah so kwa chang la so you know just to clarify uh, but you'll get a lot of the unpleasant taste la okay pork is above all meats period what's your favorite meat my favorite meat is wait wait, wait. okay <laughs> is fish meat yeah no fish is seafood it's not meat Forex is meat la. okay one two three beef Man. oh I only got two legs same I got legs <laughs> I got leg okay got leg got leg is meat okay <laughs> About your hair, I get all itchy when I see your long hair all greasy in hot Singapore. Then you scratch why you itchy. But just to clarify, it looks greasy cause it's a pomade. So in today's episode, you'll see my hair is not as greasy or shiny cause I never put. Okay, so that comes to the end of this episode. Thanks again. If you want us to come back, we do need some good suggestions. Do remember to... CLSS. 
Gen Z way of saying comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hey, so it's like OSI Boomer. Don't it's CLSS, bro. Everyone just CLSS our YouTube channel. Oh. Uh, SL in KL. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. All right. Bye. Bye. Terima kasih. Mgoi, kau zai sao tai ya. Yeah, she, uh, na, 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 na.